Dell Dimension 5150 and Dell Optiplex 780. Which will turn on the faster? This is the Pentium D Smithfield. I don't know what the clock speed is, it's about need 2 gigahertz. It's two Pentium 4s in one machine. It's got 2 gig of memory, an ATI graphics card, 256 meg, a capture card, and a Sound Blaster surround sound card, and a 250 gig hard drive. This is the uh, Optiplex, you can see that, 780. This is a Core 2 Duo Wolfdow, and it has 4 gig of DDR3 and it has a PCI Express 2.0 graphics card, the Radeon HD 5670 and a 500GB hard drive from 2011 so which is faster, the 90nm Pentium, uh, Pentium Ds or the 45nm Wolfdale Core 2 Duo, let's find out got me two monitors here so I can get this done right I'm gonna Try and do this. Okay, so there's the Pentium D. Now I removed the password protection on my Windows 7 on this machine here. I'm go 7. Okay, so this one's XP and this one's Windows 7. I should do XP and XP, shouldn't I? Pentium D is seemingly in the lead. The Dell, yep, the Dell uh, dimension is faster than Windows 7, unbelievably. So they're very, very close. Very close. So that's this, this machine is slightly faster than this machine at loading Windows XP. You could say that's slower because it's more advanced. But, um, I don't know. That's a tough one, that. It is a tough one, isn't it? Pentium D. Got you do it. But this machine is twice this machine, so I don't know how that works. Which is weird. I love my Google fan. It's so lovely. Yeah. Which turns off quicker? Uh, Duo is faster. Let's do this. Wait a minute. Shut down. Okay, let's get them both onto that. Alright. It's not easy to do this. Uh, um, which is faster? Well, that machine's just gone off. Looking at the fan, the fan's just gone off. Completely still. This one's still going. <laughs> this is faster at starting up, but this is faster at shutting down. Which is really weird. There we are. I want to do one more test and see if we can get this one, because I've, I've got a dual boot on this machine. So let's see if we can do a... I think we can do a main battery seems to have completely gone flat. Okay. Let's try again. This one I've got to get this Dell here, this is the 780, has got to go through oh but yeah, I'll do an XP and XP. This is 32 and this is 64, so there's 64. And that's a reskinned XP 32 bit. So, this one has password. Yep, this one's slower to load XP 64, but again, 64 bit is more stuff. So, I haven't got 32 and 32 to compare it with. Yep, there we are. That, that's definitely faster on 32 bit and this is definitely slower on 7 and XP Pro 64 so I don't know this is a very fast loader extremely fast loader what's inside this machine this is um, 
DDR2, 606, and it might be 500 megahertz, I think. Um, Pentium D, uh, PCI Express 2.0, no, 1.0, 1.1A or something, that's like a 2006, that's 2.0. So this is like the next revision up, it's twice as fast, but that card's way better than that. This processor's twice this processor. That's DDR3, that's DDR2, or that's early DDR3, so I don't know. 500 gig, that's 250, that's Hitachi Desk Star, that's a, that's a Western Digital. I mean, the benchmarks, they'd be miles apart. And a cathode ray tube, and a flat panel, 2011, that's 2000. 2000, this monitor is, is ancient, so. That's my two computers, as such as they are, obsolete but still doing great service for video editing, video capture and Tomb Raider mostly actually so that's all from me, thank you for watching and until my next video bye